PGA Tour doesn't stop at a lot of classically designed golf courses and hasn't been to Aronema Golf Club outside of Philadelphia since the 2011 AT&T National Championship. But the BMW Championship is going to give the world a look at Donald Ross's masterpiece and the brilliant restoration work from Gil Hans. We took the trip up to Aronimic in advance of the BMW Championship to get a look at the changes and also to test our egos. We've always been curious to see how our games would translate to a PGA Tour length course in as close to a tournament setup as you can get. So back tees, two weeks to the date of the opening round, counting every stroke, putting everything out, place your bets. The 2018 BMW Championship, which was formerly known as the Western Open, will be held in Pennsylvania for the first time since 1959. Aronimic Golf Club was founded in 1896 and moved to its current location in 1928. Donald Ross, upon returning to the golf course in 1948, had the following to say about his design. I intended to make this my masterpiece, but not until today did I realize that I built better than I knew. The land on which it sits is dramatic and undulating, with many of the most challenging shots playing up to elevated greens. And once you're on these greens, many of the slopes are diabolical. As is typical with a Donald Ross design, the contours of the green match up with the difficulty of the tee to green design. The seventh hole here is a good example of how a short hole is more likely to give you headaches on the green. And the longer the hole, the more friendly the putting surface. Aronimic has played host to many championship events over the years, including the 1962 PGA, the 1977 USAM, the 2003 Senior PGA, as well as the 2010 and 11 AT&T National Championship. He's also secured two major championships in his future with the 2020 KPMG Women's PGA and the 2027 PGA Championship. What inspired the restoration process of Aronimic was the discovery of this 1929 aerial photo. The main goals of Hans's work were to restore the bunkers to their original look and their greens to their original dimensions. There's 170 some odd bunkers now, up from 82, and we found ourselves in about 148 of them. The total number of bunkers increased greatly, but in reality, the larger bunkers were just broken up into several smaller bunkers, enhancing the aesthetic and adding more variables. Additionally, six new acres of fairway turf have been added, increasing the total fairway coverage by about 20%. One example can be seen here at the 13th. Other changes include the introduction of chipping areas that flow freely from a green site to the following tee, as you see here on the transition from 12 green to 13 tee. With modern equipment rendering so many classic golf courses obsolete, it was interesting to hear Gil Hans say they weren't looking for any new yardage in this restoration. There are a few new tees, particularly at the par 5 ninth hole as well as the par 4 15th, but the course is going to play to a similar yardage as the last time we saw it, which is about 7,300 yards and to a par 70. The fifth hole was actually shortened. With its diabolical green, it was intended by Ross to be shortened. The green is enormous, and with so much pinnable space, the hole will feel different every day of the championship. One of the most significant changes is to the 15th hole. As mentioned, this is one of the few holes that has been lengthened and now reads 515 yards on the card, played as a par four. What was noted in the 1929 aerial photo was the enormous shape of this green, and in the process of their research, a document on which Ross had written down the dimensions of the green was found. So what was about a 6,000 square foot surface a year ago has become a giant one, exceeding 10,000 square feet after 30 feet were added to the back of the already wide green. The punch bowl features of the original design have been restored and the center of the green went back 20 to 30 feet, which actually added yardage to the hole on top of the new tee. In part two of this video, we're going to give you a sneak peek into how a one handicap and a five handicap play it from the back of every tee box on a PGA Tour golf course, two weeks out from the championship, putting everything out and playing everything down.